Today we are going to be looking at another homologous series, the carboxylic acids. The basic formula is CnH2NO2. The functional group is the COOH at the end of the molecule. This is methanoic acid, a carbon molecule with the COOH functional group. This is ethanoic acid, this is propanoic acid, and this is butanoic acid. Be careful when drawing carboxylic acids. They have one carbon which is part of the functional group, but it still counts towards the carbon total for the standardised naming system. These molecules are amazingly interesting. For instance, methanoic acid is found in nettle sting and insect bites, and ethanoic acid is vinegar. Butanoic acid is the smell of rancid butter and sweat. Some of the general properties of carboxylic acids are that they have high melting points, are water soluble, are weak acids, and also, as we have just seen, have characteristic smells. There are four reactions with carboxylic acids we're going to take a look at. Ethanoic acid in water will act as a weak acid. The CH3COOH will become CH3COO minus and H plus. Ethanoic acid can also react with metals to form a salt and hydrogen. If it reacts with sodium, it will form sodium, ethanoate and hydrogen. This is the hydrogen and these are the sodium ethanoates. Carboxylic acids will react with alkalis to form a salt and water. For instance, Ethanoic acid will react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium ethanoate and water. You can also react carboxylic acids with metal carbonate to produce carbon dioxide, water and a salt. For example, sodium carbonate and ethanoic acid goes to sodium ethanoate, carbon dioxide and water. There is one thing we will cover in our next film. Do you remember that we told you carboxylic acid had characteristic smells? In our next film, we will look at how carboxylic acids can react with alcohol to form esters to cause fruity smells and flavours. This is Science Rocks.